In today's session of CCNA series, I'll discuss about CDP, also known as Cisco Discovery Protocol. It's one of the network management protocol developed by Cisco. CDP is Cisco proprietary protocol, which means it will run only on the Cisco devices. CDP runs on the data link layer of the OSI model. It helps in building network maps by discovering the basic information about the neighboring nodes. A small enterprise network will have multiple switches or routers and to make our life easier, it is good to have a network map that uh, shows us everything connected to how it is connected to each other, what types of devices we have, to what the VLAN and the IP addresses that we are using. CDP is a Cisco protocol that uh, runs on all Cisco devices that helps us discover other Cisco devices on the network that can be helpful like when troubleshooting or documenting the network. It achieves this by sharing the CDP messages between the node through their uh, interfaces. CDP sends messages every 60 seconds by default and with a whole timer of 180 seconds. All Cisco devices receive CDP packets, process them and cache the information in the packet. But Cisco devices will never forward a CDP packet. If any information changes from the last received packet, then the new information is cached and the old, older information is discarded even if its time to leave value has not yet expired. So these CDP messages share some useful details about the node, such as device identifier, which includes typically a host name, address list, which includes typically like a network and data link addresses, port identifier, which is nothing but interface details, capabilities list, which is like a type of device, and then platform, which includes model and OS of the device. CDP, or CDP offers two important features. First one, it shares the information to other nodes. For example, Cisco IP phones use CDP to learn the data and voice VLAN IDs as configured on the switch. It also provides information to the engineer through show commands. These commands give you information about the neighboring devices and share the information on CDP operation. Let's go ahead and configure and verify CDP. Let me take a simple topology where I have three devices, where you have two routers and one switch. Let me log in into the router and show you. As you know, CDP is enabled globally by default. And you can also enable it, uh, it's also enabled on each interface of Cisco IS devices. So globally, you can enable or disable by using command CDP run. So if it is disabled, you can enable it by using CDP run. Since, this is, since it is already enabled, let's go ahead and disable it. The command to disable CDP is no CDP run. And the command to verify this is show CDP. If you see now, it shows CDP is not enabled. Let's go ahead and enable CDP globally. As you can see now, it is showing enabled. Similarly, you can enable or disable uh, CDP on interface level. So let's hop onto some interface and see what is the command. Let's hop onto the interface FA0 slash 0. Sorry. Let me check the interface. Okay. Okay. Here we have gig interface. So let's uh, disable the CDP between the router and the switch. That is the interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. Let me hop onto the router and get into the interface 0 slash 0 slash 0. And then the command to disable it on the interface is no CDP enable. 
okay this will disable the CDP on this interface we can verify this by uh, using show CDP neighbor we have to wait for the whole timer to get expired uh, to make sure the CDP messages are not sent on this port so till it get expires let's verify some uh, CDP show commands okay the first one as I showed earlier is show CDP okay it shares whether a CDP is I mean it states whether a CDP is enabled globally and lists the default update and hold timer so as you see CDP send as I said earlier CDP sends messages every 60 seconds and if it doesn't send for 180 seconds then it will drop the neighbor so you can also override the default with CDP timer and CDP hold time but it is not since it is not supported in uh, packet tracer I cannot show you that so meanwhile let's see if the hold timer has expired it's still uh, 101 seconds okay till then let's see another show command that is show CDP interface okay this command states whether CDP is enabled on each interface or single interface if the interface is listed and states update and hold timer on those interfaces as you can see uh, we have uh, three interfaces physical interfaces and uh, it's showing the default timers and all the interfaces two interfaces are up one is down so those details you can get from show CDP interface let's go ahead and verify the neighbor again if it has still 59 seconds till then let's look at another command okay uh, before we go ahead with another command let me show you the details about the show CDP neighbor here you can see it lists one line per labor neighbor and each of these lines lists the most important topology information about each neighbor the neighbors host name uh, such as switch 1 and R2 and the local interface of your device on which you are verifying the show output and uh, it also includes hold time capability capability is nothing but the switch tie it, whether it's a switch or a router and the platform and the port ID of the remote device let's see if the neighbor is still there still five seconds and here you go since we disable the CDP it has lost the neighborship so let's go ahead and re-enable it again CDP enable so it will take some time to bring the neighborship up meanwhile let's look at another command uh, show CDP neighbor detail which will give you a detail overview of the neighbor okay since we have only one neighbor uh, this command lists more detail as you might have guessed it details list uh, the full name of the switch model as you can see not switch sorry this is a router we have already shut the interface towards switch so it will show you the platform it will show you the iOS details and everything so let's go ahead and see if the neighbor is up okay the neighbor is up now we will go ahead and see the show neighbor detail again here you can see now it shows router and switch both and you can see it lists the platform detail here the capability is not coded it will give you the full name it will list you Cisco IS software version of that switch another command which I can show you is here if you type show CDP neighbor detail it will list all the neighbor you can also uh, list out a specific neighbor and get the details only of that neighbor by using show CDP entry for example uh, switch 1 or R2 oh, sorry I have to type in the correct name so this will list the details only of a particular neighbor 
that's it for this session i hope this was informative for you and i would like to i would like you to share some feedbacks if you have or if you have some questions that's it for this session thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe thank you